Complications in hip fractures. Dislocations, it's more in total hip arthroplasty than hemiarthroplasty. Total hip arthroplasty is done in physiologically active elderly patient with a displaced femoral neck fracture. Although it may increase the risk of dislocation, there is a lower revision rate and a superior long-term future outcome. Failure of fixation. Quality and maintenance of reduction of the fracture is important. Close reduction can be attempted, but the reduction must be anatomic. If it is not, then open reduction should be done. Open reduction can be done through an anterior approach or Watson-Jones approach. When the fixation fails, you can attempt repeating RIF or you can do prosthetic replacement. It should be noted that in the elderly, treatment of displaced femoral neck fracture with screws may have failures and revision rates up till 40%. Another complication is fracture distal to the fixation. That's probably due to screws at or below the lesser trochanter and poor bone quality, especially if you start anteriorly and not laterally. Also may be due to a poor angle of a screw fixation and multiple attempts at drills or guide pins. The treatment probably refixation of the neck and the subtrochanteric fracture. Another complication is non-union of the fracture. The fracture didn't heal. Femoral neck fractures are considered intracapsular fracture, which are at a high risk of developing non-union. The fracture is surrounded by synovial fluid and there is no extraosseous blood supply, so there is no callus. The fracture healing occurs by intraosseous bone healing alone. It can present itself by groin or buttock pain, pain with hip extension, or with weight bearing. It can occur in about 5% of non-displaced fracture and about 25% of displaced fractures. If it occurs in elderly patient, you will do arthroplasty. If it occurs in the young patient, you will do valgus intertrochanteric osteotomy. Vascularized fibular graft may benefit the patient. The non-unit occurs more in the vertically oriented fracture pattern with loss of reduction and various collapse. So in the young patient, we may possibly reorient the fracture line to be more horizontal by doing the osteotomy. Usually this non-union is apparent by about 12 months. We may have trouble in seeing the non-union because of the fact that there is no preosteum in the femoral neck. Another complication is the medical complication. There is an increased risk of DVT up till 80%. Some form of prophylaxis is indicated, both mechanical and pharmacological, for the patient. You will consult the medical team for co-management, and the aim of treatment is early mobilization of the patient with pulmonary toilet. There's a high mortality rate in the elderly, and surgical delay more than 72 hours will increase the risk of one-year mortality. You need to treat osteoporosis to decrease the incidence of other fragility fractures. Another complication is osteonecrosis or AVN. Patient will have groin, buttock, or proximal thigh pain. It occurs in 10% of non-displaced fractures and 30% of displaced fractures. The medial femoral circumflex artery is the predominant blood supply to the femoral head. Usually AVN is diagnosed by an MRI or if it is obvious you can see it in the x-ray. 
Not all cases of AVN develop evidence of radiographic collapse. AVN alone is not of clinical significance unless late segmental collapse occur. Late segmental collapse can be seen as early as six to nine months following the fracture, but it's usually recognized by the second year and you can exclude it if it doesn't happen by the third year. AVN can occur due to increased initial displacement, increase the time to reduction, or non-anatomic reduction. So what is the treatment of AVN? In a younger patient with less than 50% head involvement, you may try valgus intertrochanteric osteotomy. You may also try free vascularized fibular graft or a total hip replacement if the involvement of the head is more than 50%. However, in the elderly, you will do a total hip arthroplasty. Another complication is penetration of the screws into the hip joint. You're gonna put the screws within five millimeter of the articular cartilage. You can use multiple fluoroscopy images to confirm no penetration and the screws have to be parallel, so it allow compression of the fracture. Make sure the threads of the screws crosses the fracture site. Otherwise, the threads will distract the fracture. You may use long threads or short threads based on the situation. Shortening. Femoral neck shortening after fracture fixation with multiple cancellous screws can be a problem. The healed femoral neck fracture with shortening is usually associated with a poor functional outcome. 